this extreme tactic to expel us and to try to humiliate us has only put a spotlight of the world on Tennessee. And so all eyes on Tennessee as GOP lawmakers face backlash for expelling two Democratic representatives for leading gun violence protests. A third lawmaker narrowly survived her expulsion vote. Right now, Vice President Kamala Harris is in Nashville to meet with Justin Jones and Justin Pearson in an unscheduled visit to Tennessee. Way 31's Georgia Clark joins us live now with more on the fallout from this extremely rare move. Georgia, you have reaction tonight from a political science professor and a former candidate for the Alabama House of Reps. Yes, Nikkel, and those I spoke with say this is disappointing and infuriating for the voters who put these two men in, the, in their seats. Jones and Pearson have been expelled for what political science expert Dr. Wayman Burke calls political jaywalking. Two African-American legislators were expelled for what politically is more like political jaywalking. In other words, they took a relatively minor offense of breaking the rules and the will of the legislative body and uh, given them the political death penalty of expulsion. The third representative up for expulsion, Gloria Johnson, a Democrat from Knoxville, only managed to be saved by one vote, and she says that could be for one reason. It might have to do with the color of our skin. Jones with a vote of 72 to 25 and Pearson with a vote of 69 to 26 were expelled. And former Alabama State House candidate for District 25, Mallory Hagan, says the effect this has on voters is extremely concerning. Taking away the voice of people who have elected these representatives is the most alarming part of all of this, right? We are a representative democracy and is the people who sit in that state house that are supposed to speak on behalf of citizens, everyday citizens. And Burke gave a quote of advice to the state house from 1964 Republican presidential nominee Barry Goldwater in response to this use of power. He said, when you gain power, you can't run raw over the opposition. That is, you've got to treat the opposition with dignity and respect because, like it or not, they will be in power again one day. Now, the Tennessee State House will have to hold a spe special election to fill these vacant seats. Jones and Pearson could be elected again into these vacant seats after the special election. Now, we will continue to pass along updates as we get them. Reporting live, Georgia Clark, Way 31 News.